Hey everybody, I pray that you all are doing well. So we are going to go into prayer and then let God have his way. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord, for smiling on us this morning. I thank you, God, for allowing us to enter into a new month. God, we thank you, God, that you were the same God over October and you're going to continue to be God over November. God, because you are the same yesterday, today, and forever, God, and we just thank you for your truth. I pray that you will help us, God, to hide the truth in our hearts, God, that we may not sin against you, Lord. God, if there's any idols that we form, that we have formed in our hearts, God, or in our minds, we just ask, God, we just bind them in the name of Jesus, God, and we just pray pray that you will give us the strength, God, Lord, the desire to put you first, to seek you first, the kingdom, God, and believe that all other things will be added unto us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So I just wanted to share um, my testimony of just how good God is. You know, God is always good. And sometimes we may not, or I may not, I can only speak for myself, give him the credit and honor that is due to him. But truly um he is a good god i'll be right back so i wanted to read psalm 22 verses 20 through 23 deliver my soul from the sword my darling from the power of the dog save me from the lion's mouth from thou for thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorns i will declare thy name unto my brethren in the midst of the congregation will i praise thee Ye, ye that fear the Lord, praise him, all ye the seed of Jacob, glory to God. Glorify him and fear him, all ye the seed of Israel. We are Abraham's seed, y'all. We have access to, to things that that um God promised. God promised. So let's read 22 again. I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. And God is just using me today to just declare his name. God is truly, truly good. A song that was on my heart as he was preparing me to share this testimony uh, was, As I look back over my life And I think things over I can truly say that I've been blessed I've got a testimony as I look back over my life and I think things over, I can truly say that I've been blessed. I've got a testimony. God is good. And I know I shared this testimony before, but I'll share it again. Um, a couple of years ago, I wanted to commit suicide, um, but God wouldn't allow it. And I just thank God for his His love for me and just encouraging my soul, whether that was through a song, a video, through a person, and or him just speaking directly to me. And I want to read, read to y'all Revelations 12 and 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. We can overcome. We shall overcome by the blood of the lamb. Deep in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome someday. And that day of overcoming is today. God is so good. And I know I've shared my testimony of moving to California, but this may be somebody's first time hearing it. God told me to move here in um, December. He had already been preparing me, and preparing me and speaking to me about moving. And that process for me just looked like, you know, just being in his presence, being in his presence so I could hear what he wanted to do in my life and just praying and asking him to show me and worshiping. Worshiping was really a key for me getting into his presence, and it still is, but it was very, very um, um, essential at that time last year when God was speaking to me about moving. And we know that when God gives, a, gives us a word, he will confirm his word. So definitely continue to pray into those things that he has revealed to you. And in his time, he will he will um, continue to show you exactly what moves to make. So he de he definitely did that to did that for me. He led me to go on a fast. I think it was like last um, 
it was in January. It was this past January. He led me to go on a fast. And I think it was like a four day fast. I can't really remember. And um, then at the end of that fast, he revealed to me that he wanted me to go to move to California in June. And um, I'm like, okay, Lord, I believe I've heard, I heard you, but I'm gonna continue to pray into this thing. And he began to just speak to me and give me more insight about it. And um, I didn't have any money saved up. And sometimes things will look crazy. It'll it'll seem contrary to what your life looks like when God speaks. But we know that even in the beginning, in Genesis, let's read something. I want to. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, "Let there be light," and there was light. So we understand right here that by God's word. The, the 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 earth was created it was it only took a word so that same word that god can speak to you or that he is speaking to you or has spoken to you it's already there he already has um what you need to get to where you're going to get to where he wants you to go so i just want to encourage you all to keep going continue to seek god about whatever it is that you desire about whatever it is that he's spoken to you because god is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent god doesn't have to be like oops my bad um you know i i told you i was gonna do this but i changed my mind or i told you i was gonna do this but i can't do it our god is an all-consuming fire he can do anything that the bible says that there's no god beside him before him or after him god is just so good so i just i just i love him and i appreciate him for just bringing me here i remember i even remember like maybe june of 2019 I remember God was, he was dealing with me in Psalm about um, a spacious place. I, I can't remember which Psalm that's in. It may be like Psalm 18, one of the Psalms. And I was like, okay. And then I remember thinking like after I moved here to California, like, you know, God has really brought me to a spacious place. You know, this state is so huge, not even really realizing it, but you know, he will remind you of those things that you even forgot about. So God is just so good and i just want to sing praises to his name so wherever you are while you're watching this video i just ask that you sing with me and just pray and just focus on god i just want to praise you lift my hands and say i love you you Somebody feels like they are forgotten by God, but you are not forgotten by God. And when we feel those feelings and when those thoughts come, we just have to bind those thoughts, rebuke them, and then just declare the word out of our mouths. So let's look at Psalm 40, I mean, Isaiah 49 and 14. But Zion said, the Lord hath forsaken me and my Lord hath forgotten me can a woman forget her sucking child that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb 
Yea, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee. Behold, I have graven thee upon the, sum, the palms of my hands. Thy walls are continually before me. Continually before me. And, you know, I was telling somebody, um, you may, if, if you feel like you ain't on nobody else's mind in the world, know that you are on God's mind. Psalm, one, Psalm 139 lets us know that his thoughts towards us are like the sand. Mm, they can't even be counted. Lift up thine eyes round about and behold, all these gather themselves together and come to thee. As I live, said the Lord, thou shalt surely clothe thee with all as with an ornament and bind them on thee as a bride doeth. For thy waste and thy desolate places in the land of thy destruction shall even now be too narrow by reason of the inhabitants. And they that swallowed thee up shall be far away. The children which thou shalt have after thou hast lost the other shall say again in thine ears, The place is too straight for me. Give place to me that I may dwell. It's going to be more than enough. There's another scripture where it talks about for his name's sake, he will do it so that his name's his name, there's only one name, will not be um, polluted. I don't know exactly where that scripture is, but it's somewhere in Isaiah where it talks about how for his name's sake, he will do it. So just read, um, you know that song, um, one more day, one more step. See, I'm preparing you for myself. And if you can't hear my voice, please trust my plan. I am the Lord I see, and yes, I understand. See, I am the Lord, I changeth not. See, I won't forget, nor have I forgot. See, everything works according to my plans. I am Lord, please trust me. I got the whole world in my hands. One more day, one more step. See, I'm preparing you for myself. And if you can't hear my voice, please trust my plan. I am the Lord I see, and yes, I understand. I think that song is by Smokey Norfolk. Let's read Isaiah 48 and 10. Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. For my own sake, even for my own sake, will I do it. For how should my name be polluted, and I will not give my glory unto another? Hearken unto me, O Jacob, and Israel, my called. I am he. I am the first. I also am the last. Glory to God. There's a song that's on my heart. Um, it's called Lord Do It. Lord, do it for me right now. You read the Bible. God knows we read the story about the blind man who could not see but one day he heard that jesus was passing by he said lay your hands lay your hands lay your hands on me and this is what he cried he cried lord do it lord do it i know you're able i know you're able lord lord do it for me Lord, do it. I know you're able. I know you're able. Do it for me right now. Oh, God is just so good, y'all. He's just moving. Um, that song, um, 
Even when I don't see it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. Glory. God is just so good. Isaiah 60. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thine eyes round about and see all they gather themselves together. They come to thee. Thy son shall come from far and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see and flow together and thine heart shall fear and be enlarged because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. I see you move. You move the mountain and I believe. I'll see him do it again. He's made a way where there was no way. When I and I believe we'll see him do it again. Y'all remember last year, last September. It was like the beginning of September. I was crying so bad because I was like, Lord, I need a job. I was crying so, so, so bad. God had blessed me to go through a season where I didn't have to work. And it was awesome. It was awesome. And it was really a lot of intimate time with him. He was preparing me for some things that I didn't even realize at that time. But I was like, Lord, and I was worried. I was worried. I was like, God, I need a job. I need a job. And I was crying. But even in the midst of me crying, I was just worshiping him, praying like, and I just kept telling him like, Lord, remember in your word, you said it's those that seek you lack no good thing. And um, that doesn't mean we won't go through things, but God is a promise keeper. And, you know, he just, he, God wants us to have faith. The Bible says, and I think it's Hebrews 11 and 6, without faith, it is impossible to, to please God. Rise and so, shine, for your light has come. Okay, let's look at Isaiah 58. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. So, um, I know that this scripture um, talks about, like, let, you know, um, basically testifying and well declaring to people like you need to repent but god is using me using me today um to declare this scripture but to just to encourage all of us to lift up lift up our voice like a trumpet and to just praise him because he is good when i think of the goodness of jesus and all he's done for me my soul cries out hallelujah i praise god for saving me i praise god for saving me i praise god for saving me i praise god i praise god i praise god i praise god for saving me and i love y'all jesus loves you and um your time has come and just trust in him god is good it doesn't matter what we see in this world god is a faithful god and just think about it just um i hear people say it just takes a memory just think about how far he's brought you from even from yesterday a week ago um you know, in your spiritual wall, in your finances, whatever it is, God is in control. Um, dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day and this opportunity to pray. Lord, you are just good and your mercy endures forever. And we just tell you thank you for that. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I love y'all.